Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always. I hope you're all doing well. This video is sponsored by the channel sponsor 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase retro kits from the 60s all the way through to the early 2000s, including the 1976 home shirt that inspired this season's home kit and also the 1980 FA Cup final shirt that inspired this season's away kit, the shirt of which I'm wearing at the moment as you guys know there are also, also within the link in the description below there is west ham inspired admiral and umbro track jackets polo shirts sweatshirts and t-shirts to so go check those out any purchases made through the link in the description below for the next 16 purchases will go directly to isla's fight so thank you very much to any purchases that you may be making it's been a while since anybody's bought any so come on guys i know you like your retro gear as you saw from the preview, this is the intro even, this is the preview of Everton versus West Ham live quarter to one on Saturday afternoon in the Premier League up at Goodison Park. I had to remember what this ground was called for a moment. So as always guys, let's talk about the opposition. Our last six games against Everton, we've won two, drawn one and lost three. So there's still a bit of a bogey team for us. Okay, I know at this fixture at the beginning of last season, this is the first time that we picked up three points last season. But at the same point, we lost to them um, at home in March 2-0. So, you know, they are still a bit of a bogey team for us. Everton are currently 18th in the table with two wins, one draw and five losses since the start of the season. Striker Cal um, Calvert-Lewin is their top goal scorer with four goals and no assists in all competitions. Ricarlison has three goals and one assist. Fauna Guna, Alex Awobi, has two goals and one assist. Digny has one goal and one assist. And Bernard, sorry, Bernard and Sigurdsson all have one goal each. Uh, but turning to the injuries, according to Physio Room, sorry, uh, Premier Injuries now, I should say, dot com, uh, Premier Injuries dot com, Seamus Coleman is unavailable for this game as he picked up two yellow cards in the 1 0 loss against Burnley, so he misses this game. Um, Jean Philippe Gabain, uh, I, I don't know how you pronounce this, Gambin? Gambin, I have no idea, is a long term absence as he suffered a tendon injury at the beginning, uh, towards the end of August, I should say, and there's no set return date for him as yet. Fabian Delft could be back for this fixture as he's 50 50, according to PremierInjuries.com, on his hamstring injury, which caused him to pull out of England duty this time last week. So there's a, he could be back. He maybe, maybe it's going to be resumed training, or maybe it's going to be fit for the squad. We'll only have to wait and see. Now, Turning to West Ham news, of course, before we go into the squad itself, um, it was announced that the club are looking to extend the North and South Banks at the start of next season. Sorry, for the start of next season, I should say. Um, but it was only Football.London that seemed to be reporting this. So um, I, 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 we'll wait with bait your breath. I know as us season ticket holders, we got a letter around about Christmas last year saying that they were looking to do this, but we've seen nothing since. There's nothing official anyway. So let's wait and see what happens on that side of things. Um, it also looks like we're about to get decent Wi-Fi within the next few weeks as well um, up at the London Stadium, which is very, very good news for a mate of mine, Steve. He's going to have to find something else to complain about at half-time. <laughs> um, it would be good for all of us, to be honest with you, because we'd be able to check the football scores better as well. I'm sure, obviously, the, the internet connection is not going to be long enough for anybody to stream anything, but you never know with West Ham. Um, but again... We were spoke, we were promised this bef um, before the Norwich game, so again we'll wait we'll wait on bait your breath with this. The club has also released an, a home shirt for the for the esports side of things for forty five pound, which to be honest, quite frankly, you guys, this is a massive cash grab by the club. It's basically aimed at parents really because it's for the FIFA generation. Apparently, this is the kit that we'll be wearing for the home games at the London Stadium in FIFA twenty. So, uh, I. I, it, yeah, it it bugs me. So it's the FIFA generation thing, and you know I'm, I like the look of it. Don't get me wrong. It's just the fact that I just oh, it just really does my head in. I really don't like the idea of another forty five pound that they're trying to get out of the club, the fan base for no reason. We're never going to see anyone actually play in it. You know, it's it's for FIFA. It's for the FIFA lot. So you know, anyway, injury news for West Ham. Nothing really new. Bar Snodgrass, who um, who retired from international duty with Scotland earlier this week, 
He's 50-50 on a calf strain, but everybody else seems to be all right. And it's great to see that the loanees that are out on international duties are all coming back and are all fit to play, which is great. So Yarmolenko, Rice is all right. Balbuena is okay. Masawaku, apparently um, there's rumours floating around that he could miss this game, but I don't think so. There's nothing also to substantiate that what I've seen floating around that as of the time of this recording, of course, uh, that there's any, there was any problems with Creswell. But just in case there is, let's turn to the let's turn to the starting eleven. Now my starting eleven, I reckon, is going to be exactly the same as what Pellegrini is going to put out. Uh, there's Roberto in goal, Fredericks, Diop, and Balbuena with Creswell making up the back four, Rice and Noble as the holding midfielders, Yarmolenko, Lanzini. Anderson and Allaire up front. As I say, you know, it was great to see that Yarmolenko was on the score sheet the other night. Um, it's going to boost his confidence somewhat. So hopefully he's, he's going to be back and as I, back into a good form again. But as I say, I honestly think this is the same lineup that Pellegrini is going to put out. Bar possibly, possibly Masuaku if there is problems with Creswell. But as yet, as the time of this recording, there hasn't been anything recorded so far. So thank you guys for watching. As always, if you're new around here, welcome. It's great to see you. Uh, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you want to know more from me in the future. By all means, put your comments in the comment section below, guys. Let me know if you agree with the formation. Do you agree that we, you know Everton play a four-five-one, and should you know should we go four-four-two? But we don't. Personally, I don't think we have the option to do that. Um, but let me know your squad selection as well, for that matter. I'd love to I'd love to see what you think what you guys would put out as a starting eleven. Um, if you like the video and you feel I deserve it, then Barmies please click the like button. If you don't like it, then Barmies please click the dislike button and let me know in the comments why you don't like this like this video because I'm always happy to change things for you. I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched the live stream on Facebook for the England game on Monday night. That was a bark to get home in time for it but I was managed to get it home in time so guys as I said in the previous videos um, the I can't stream live on YouTube at the moment I've got a copyright strike which I have I have tried to appeal but so we'll see what happens with that um, but as I say guys um, from now until that copyright strike is lifted all watch along with will be live on facebook.com stroke jpwhutv there is a link in the description below to take you to take you through to it anyway um but guys it'd be great to see you at quarter well i'll be going live at 20 to 1 on saturday afternoon so in the meantime guys if you like this video and you feel every anybody else may want to watch this video then by means please share it as well and I will also, and for also guys, JPWHUTV is also on Periscope as well. There was actually quite a few viewers on Periscope uh, that watched the live stream on Monday. So if you if you um, if you do have a Periscope account, then go to JPWHUTV underscore capital O with official. So it's JP under JPWHUTV underscore official with a capital O, and it'd be great to engage with you guys as well. So in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week, have a fantastic Friday night, and I will see you live at 20 to 1 on Facebook and Periscope for the Everton game. So I'll see you then, and you take care.